Hey everyone, welcome to my fourth tutorial with logistic regression. In this tutorial part, we finally start building a logistic regression as neural network. So, first, I should say that logistic regression is a binary classification method. In this full tutorial, after being trained on images of cats and dogs and then being given a picture that it has never seen before, for example, of cats and dogs, we will find out that our machine can predict the correct type. As we'll see, even a simple algorithm like logistic regression can do this task surprisingly well. So this means that we are planning to build a logistic regression model with a neural network mindset. Uh, in this tutorial, I will step you through how to do this and so I will also hone your intuitions about deep learning. So, you'll get the basics. In this tutorial, we'll build the general architecture of learning algorithm, including parameter initialization, cost function, and its gradient calculation using an optimization algorithm. After that, we'll gather uh, all three functions into a main model function in the right order. All in all, we'll not use loops in our code unless will be necessary to do so. So in this case, uh, we'll maximize the performance. So first, I'll import all packages that you'll need during this assignment. As you can see, I already started uh, writing a bit of code. So here is all the imports. So if you don't have a SkyPy, Matplotlib, OpenCV or some of these libraries, please install before doing further tools. So at first, uh, I will use a Kaggle uh, dataset I have here and I'll add this to my text tutorial and you can download it, but I won't use a full Kaggle uh, dataset because there is 10,000 of images, but for my purposes, I will use only uh, 6,000 of images. So it means 3,000 of cats and 3,000 of dogs and for testing more dataset will use 1000 of dogs and cats images. So don't worry if you would like to do everything as I do, I'll upload links, uh, link to the Kaggle dataset and link to my my dataset to download. So at first we'll, we have all these images and they are all different sizes. So I will define that I will use only 64 by 64 uh, pixel images. So this means that we'll need to resize our images because all our images different size. So uh, and keep in mind that all images have three channels. So just corresponds to, to RGB. So unless you are doing this in grayscale, so you can do this the same. Of course, if you don't like my my choose a number 64 by 64 you can choose another number so anyway uh, then I specify my training directory and testing directory so as you saw already it's test data and train data and here I wrote a simple line of code that we use a for loop to loop our directory to add uh, everything to one list so for example I can print uh, okay test images let's try test images just like that and uh, I forgot it will loop it it takes the directory to for example it we can write something like this you'll see okay I'll comment this it will work much faster so as you can see there is a directory save it as list element of zero so I'll I'll will need this later but for now I'll begin writing a, a simple function which will use to read our images so so I define a read image function like this and here will be our file path as it is in list so here I'll simply use an open cv so if open cv2 is in read and here i'll use a file path and cv2 dot m read dot color so this will be a standard 
color and now what you use so we we need to resize our image image so I use CB2 resize and we will resize our image which we read already and here I'll use uh, rows and columns columns just like that and what we need to not forget when we are reading our images so is interpolation i mean resizing is equal to cb2 dot inter cubic so it's uh this is it and we return this so when we call a read image with our file path it resizes that image for us so that's quite simple one function finished so so now we'll create another function to prepare our data further so i write repair data and here we call on images here we'll uh, give all the list of our images which we'll read from here so at first we'll define for example m is equal to length of images and then we'll create a numpy arrays of zeros so so we define a simple array zeros and here we'll use a shape what our numpy array should look so this is our length of images will be our rows how many rows what pixel sizes of our rows what is pixel size of our columns and of course channels so three channels of images and we must write that its d type is equal to numpy uint 8 okay so now we should do similar to our i so i is equal to numpy zeros but there was held on the indexes so for example if we'll have a for example dog this will be one and if, if we have on a cat image our index will be zero so here we write zero and m of length so we just created our numpy arrays and now we just need to use a for loop so this is our data preparation step so for i and image files image file and what we'll receive is in enumerate enumerate images so this reshapes our data indexes our data it's simpler talking so here will be a x of i and to the n everything here and here i'll read just read image read image and image file this will be our path to our image so here i'm calling read one single image from example from here test image so this will be i don't know that's simple and now when we have our image if for, for example in our name in our file is if it's a dog for example in image file lower so then we write that our index in i will be one Oops, will be one i need i can remove this gap spacing and what else if there is a cat so we write else if cat here is image file lower so this means that here will be zero and after we loop everything here we just use a return x and i just like that 
and now what we can try to do is call this functions I think so I, I'll copy this and I will call my data uh, train set X and train set I equal to prepare data of train images just like this and okay I can copy this and I will do this for test images so I just rename this test I test X and prepare data test images here So after this step, we already have our train images and test images all loaded uh, to our NumPy array. So right now, what we'll do is we need to reshape them. So train, how we'll call it, train set x flat flatten will be equal to train set x and we will reshape these images into the special form so so we will leave uh, our m shape as it was before we won't change this this is this shape and what we'll do is oh sorry there's a mistake so what we'll do here, we'll copy this and we'll use them to in our shape so that we multiply everything like that. And, and yeah, this will be two shapes and now we need to transpose our data. And you understand later why I do that, but if you won't, just try to analyze this code more and what else we do is we do the, the same to our train set so I'll just I mean test set test set and here again I'll use test set X reshape and test set X shape also this will be a little bit different we can write minus one so this is only a simple example that you will the same same results uh, shape this and with minus one and just minus one mu multiplies everything what is not included by this and here we ju just specify what we, we want to multiply so right now we can, I think we can try to print our data sets and you will see what are the differences of it. So I'll use a print, simple print function and here I'll print train set x dot shape. Okay, what's most necessary for is uh, shapes of our data. So you'll see what's the different and train set I I think. So we use everything here with training set and next we would like to do everything same with test shape. So here I'll just change a few lines. So that's it. Now we can try to run our script I hope there is no mistakes because it consumes some time when there is something wrong in it and we'll see it's right now it's loading data to my memory so because there is uh, six thousands of train images and one thousand of test images this takes some time so you can imagine if I would use full data set there is ten thousands of images and at least you can see how long it took for me half a minute so anyway as you saw before we received a uh, such shape so that here is our 
training images. So 3001 of cats and dogs each. Here's our image shape. So it will be 64 by 64 already resize it. And every image has a three RGB channels. So what we did here with our, our line, we multiplied our 64 by 64 by three and we receive 12288 and by using a transpose we swapped it so this number goes to here and this multiplied numbers goes to here and here is our indexes so as you can see there is also different shape so for example there is our zeros and one we watch says and here's the cat, here's the dog, here's the cat, where's the dog. So simply. And everything the same was done with a test data set. So it's quite simply. But as you can see, I wrote everything in a few lines and it's quite easy to read and understand. And what else I can say? So one more step is left to do for us. So is that we need to use a flatten data so this means that not a flatten data but this is one common pre-processing step in machine learning so we need to center and standardize our data set meaning that we subtract the mean of the whole NumPy array from each example and then divide each example led by the standard deviation of the whole NumPy array but for picture data sets it is simpler and more convenient and works almost as well as just divide every row of the dataset by 255. Uh, this is the maximum value of the pixel channel. So while we are doing this, we need to, for example, I will use train set X. So this will be my train set X flat flatten. And it, I divide it by 255. And the same will be for my test data just like that also flatten and we'll receive all the same results but the number num uh, pixel values will be by between 0 and 1 so that's simple so that's it for this tutorial now we know how to prepare our image data set so in next tutorial, we'll create a general architecture of the learning algorithm and we'll start building functions for of it. So there won't be a lot of steps how to create this because I'll, I'm trying to make these functions as short and as possible easier to understand so you could learn more simpler. So I think I, okay, of course, I'll post this to my website so full code you can read or you can read every step i'll try to comment every step i'll do so thank you all for watching good luck and we'll see in next tutorial it will be quite soon so if you like this video please subscribe and like so you you can reach me faster when there is a new video out and of course you'll support my channel Th again thank you all for watching Good luck and goodbye.